Hey my friends, it's Liam here and look I realized I haven't made any videos in the last couple of weeks and I kind of miss it but the reason why is I've just been super busy and I want to show you what I've been busy with but after that I also want to um, kind of show you something that I, I learned recently that I think it may help you in your life, it may not but whatever, whether it does or not I really wanted to share it so first of all let me show you what I've been up to lately. As you'll see my, my room is just an absolute mess, um, there's just stuff everywhere, all the walls are bare because I've taken all my purses and stuff down and I've just got crap all over my bed at the moment I've got um, this book that I'm reading called The Mastery of Love, which if you haven't read that book, I highly recommend you pick it up, but just more stuff, more crap everywhere. And as you'll see here, I've just got boxes and boxes worth of stuff. And the point of me making this video is, I was going through all the stuff that I had, and I just found a bunch of ridiculous things that I had still kept, and it was left over from when I was a kid. So I just wanted to show you a few of these things that I found that I have no idea why I even still have them, but I'm going to show you these things. And then after that, I'm going to show you the point of me actually making this video, okay? So hey, look, just check out some of the shit that I kept from my childhood. It's really, really weird. Okay, so the first thing that I found just amongst all the things that I still have as a kid is this signed baseball that I got from the Brisbane Bandits. And I know a lot of people won't even remember who the Brisbane Bandits are because they haven't been a baseball team in 10 years. And if you look really closely at this ball, it's actually faded. All the signatures from this ball have faded. Not that the people's signatures were worth keeping anyway, but I've had this since I was probably about 13 years old, and I just thought, why the hell do I still have this? The next thing I found was this just match, matchbox car. It's like a 1964 Chevy Impala. It's even got a little hydraulics on it, but this has been amongst all my stuff. Probably, I would love to say that I got this when I was about seven years old, but really, I remember I bought this when I was 17 in high school, and I used to play with it in class, but, I'm 30 years old now, I'm about to turn, turn 31 this year, and I still have this little matchbox car, I have no idea why. So the next item I found was this softball that I've had since I was about, again, about 12, 13 years old, from a softball team that I used to play on, and basically, it's just got all the signatures of all the people that I used to play with from 1996, and really, it's starting to fade like, like the baseball that I just showed you, and it just makes me wonder why the hell do I still have this? I mean, I don't use it, I don't need it, I don't look at it, I don't remember any of the people that signed this thing, but yet I still have it as a 30-year-old man. It's just odd. So another useless thing that I found amongst my crap was this lamp. Um, it's like the bottom of a lamp. It used to be my dad's lamp. It used to be like a lava lamp, but that got smashed by um, my cousin's boyfriend. <laughs> and since then, I've still held on to this bloody lamp um, base. It doesn't have a light bulb in it. I don't even know if it even works anymore. But yet, I still held on to this lamp as if it meant something to me just because it was my dad's. And it's really, really weird that I still have it. And just looking amongst my stuff, I was like, why do I have this? And then finally, something that I found, it's a painting that I've held on for, to for years that I did in high school. And basically, it's a painting of the rapper Jay-Z, and it's got one of my favorite verses from one of my favorite songs on here, and he's still one of my favorite artists, but the thing is, why do I have this? It's not particularly good. It doesn't remind me of the artistic and creative skills that I have. I've just held on to it for fake sentimental reasons, and it's just this weird thing that's been floating around with me since I was about 16, 17 years old, and now it actually kind of smells like bin juice because I threw it in the bin already and then I thought about making this video so I went and kind of um, got it out of the bin just to, to make it, to put it in this video. But the thing is, I've had this thing since I was 17 and I have no idea why. I have no idea why and it's about to go in the trash. And all that stuff that I just showed you, it doesn't even include the things that I've already thrown out before I decided to make this video. I just had just thing after thing after thing from when I was maybe like five years old all the way up to, to now, that it all meant nothing to me. But for some reason, I held on to it because again, it, I acted like it had some sentimental value. And really, it was just crap that I've been lugging around with me, that I've been taking from house to house to house that I've moved in. And it's just, it's just all worthless shit. Now, I wanna get into the point of me making this video, okay? Now, the, the reason that I made this video is not to show you all this crap from when I was a kid, 
here's the real reason that I'm making this video. Okay, so the real reason for me making this video isn't to show you all the crap that I kept from when I was a kid. It is, it actually reminded me, while I was going through my stuff and I found all this shit from when I was a kid, it reminded me that this is something that I feel like people do, not just with their stuff, because I know a lot of people still hold on to things that they pretend um, have meaning when they really they don't, but a lot of people do this in their mind as well. They carry around things with them from when they were younger, from past mistakes that they made, from past relationships, from just things that have happened to them in their lives that they carry around with them and it just weighs them down. And the reason that you know it came to me was that I realized that I was doing the exact same thing. I didn't just have this crap from when I was a kid, um, like physical stuff. I've been carrying around things with me since I was a kid in my mind as well. And it's really held me back in my life because I just couldn't get past it because I couldn't let it go. And the whole reason for me making this video is is just like demonstrating the power of letting go. Just like some of that old shit that you, you may have still in your house from when you were a kid. Some of it's meaningful, most of it's not. Just like some of that old stuff. Sometimes you just have to, in order to move forward, you have to let go of some of that old shit that's been holding you back. And especially when it comes um, to mentally, the things that you have in your mind, the things that have been holding you back in, mentally from like, um, just past behaviors and past things that you've learned and past things that have happened to you. Sometimes you just have to drop all of that shit. You have to let it go. You have to realize it happened in the past and the past is gone. You know, I've done a lot of things in the past that have hurt people, people that I care about. Actually, yesterday, I had a conversation with my ex over Facebook on my phone. We all know Facebook Messenger and by the way, if you like these videos, let me know. If you don't want to leave a comment below the video, hit me up in Facebook Messenger. Let me know if you like these videos. But I had a conversation with her yesterday that really, uh, it allowed me to really dig deep into my past and into things that I didn't even know were there, but things that kind of uh, caused the relationship to kind of, you know, crumble. And, and the thing is, at the time, I beat myself up over it many, many times. But sometimes you have to realize, as human beings, we keep moving forward. And every day when we keep moving forward, we keep changing. We keep changing, we keep changing. And if you're doing it right, if you continue to grow, if you're moving forward, you're not the same person you were yesterday or last week, let alone um, at the beginning of the year or two or three or four years ago. So whenever you beat yourself up for things that you've done in the past, what you're really doing is condemning an innocent person. Because that person's gone. If you're growing every single day, that person no longer exists. So it makes no sense to beat yourself up over, over things that you've done in the past. And I've done this my whole life. I, you know, none of us are perfect. And I can be a very sensitive person and I, I know when I'm right and I know when I'm wrong. And the thing is, when I, I look back and look at all the things that I've done that were wrong, I've continued to beat myself up over it for years and years and years and years and really, it's pointless because like I said, you're condemning an innocent person when you do that. So, what I want to put to you is, if you have not only just stuff that you don't need anymore that you've been carrying around with you, to get rid of that, but really, I wanted to put to you the power of letting go. If there's things that have been holding you back, like mentally, things in your mind that have been holding you back, resentments and um, things that people have said to you in the past, old memories, whatever it is, sometimes, just like the crap that you've held onto your whole life that mean nothing anymore. Sometimes you have to let go of those thoughts, those feelings, and those memories as well. And when you do, that is when you can truly continue to move forward with your life. When you can truly continue to move forward and keep becoming the person that you want to grow into and not looking back and rem reminding yourself of the person that you may have once been. So, that is the point of my video. It wasn't just to show you all the shit that I still have that I will be throwing out immediately after this video, but I just wanted to remind you that you may have stuff in your mind that's been holding you back, but you don't need it anymore. Just like that crap that I, I showed you before, I don't need it. And the best thing you can do, instead of reliving that moment over and over in your head, the best thing you can do is to just let it go. Just let it go. Just let it all go go, just realize that it happened in the past. It's never going to happen again unless you keep replaying it in your mind. So why not just 
stop replaying it in your mind and just move forward. And that is what I wanted to share in this video. So really quickly, I want to take you back down to my room full of my crap and I'm going to sign out for this video. Okay, so the reason that I have all this crap everywhere, the reason that I'm moving is I'm continuing to move forward. And next week, I'm gonna be moving in with my cousin, just living in his house for about a month before I move down to a small country town called Ballandine, I believe it's called. Uh, apparently, there's not much there, but my mom and uh, her husband, they just bought a property down there in Ballandine, a huge 36 acre property with two houses on it. And I'm gonna go down there and help them out, help them fix the place up, help it be help them make it into a B&B. And that's why I've been going through all this crap that I have here, and believe it or not, this may look like a lot of stuff, but really, these are the only things that I still, that I still own in this world. And to me, I think that's really good, considering the shit that I just, I used to have. I used to have piles and piles and piles of stuff that mean nothing to me anymore. But um, that is what I'm doing, that's what I'm, that's why my room is such a mess, that's why everything's been taken down, that's why it looks the way it does. And that is my story. That's what I've been up to lately. I've been really busy. That's why I haven't been making videos. That's why I've been kind of quiet on Facebook. But I wanted to just make this video because the idea popped into my head. And hopefully, maybe you may have been doing this. Maybe this is something that you've been doing, holding on to stuff from your past, both physically and mentally as well. And if so, just remember what I shared in this video. Sometimes, Instead of reliving it, instead of go, going over and over and over in your head, instead of condemning yourself from mistakes you may have made in the past, why not just let it go? Just let it all go and continue moving forward. But continue becoming the person that you want to be. And if you were someone you didn't want to be in the past, that's a great thing because at least you're aware of it and now you can continue to just move forward. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to put it out there right now that in a few in a few weeks, I have some really exciting news coming. So I will share that with you guys in a few weeks. But if you like this video, don't be afraid to like it, to comment on it, to share it. And if you, you're too shy to maybe do that, don't be afraid to um, send me a, a personal message, whether you know me or not, whether we have we haven't spoken in years, it doesn't matter. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Send me a private message. I want to hear from you. I'd like to see what you think. Um, and I will continue to make these videos if you enjoy them, sir. And even if you don't, I'm going to continue to make them anyway because I enjoy making them. But again, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. And I'll let you know my um, special news that will be coming in a few weeks as well. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys soon. And thank you for watching. Bye.